Hello, I'm Rish Patel. Today we're going to, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to do an examination of a face, an aesthetic examination of the face, and also uh, perform a, f a dermal fillers. Uh, this is Nadine, who is our volunteer patient today. She was also my aesthetician, has been working with me for many years. She's kindly volunteered to offer a face for this, the purposes of demonstration. This uh, demonstration is primarily di uh, directed to uh, uh, primary care physicians who are interested in this field of work. So here we have Nadine here. Uh, she's had many treatments in the past with fillers and neuro, neurotoxic neuromodulators. Today we're going to concentrate on fillers and uh, just do an over examination of the face. She has requested to like fillers in various places and when you look at a face it's important to take a global perspective and look at the face in a three-dimensional way not just a two-dimensional and not focus on lines, but also the whole face, which is uh, the, 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 the surface, uh, the bony structure, what's underneath the skin, uh, the subcutaneous, um, and it make an assessment and come up with a global plan. We've already done this in this particular instance, and we've, we have identified today as a filler day to try and help with, with volumizing some of the areas in the, on the face. So let's look at the face here. The thing which troubles Nadine is she doesn't like this nasal labial folds here, which is these two areas here. Uh, and and, and the, the easiest thing to do is just fill the lines up, but in fact that's not what the problem is. It's the mid-face, which is this, if you divide the face into thirds, one third here, second third, and the, the lower third uh, from here, um, you notice that she's lost the bulk, the volume in her cheeks. And by just doing a little bit of pressure here, Note how the nasal labial fold just sort of fades away, softens up, and creates a very quite nice aesthetic effect here. Volumizing leaf also gives this youthful appearance. Likewise here. So you don't need a lot of volume, but the fat pads, there's three of them which underlie this area, by reflating those fat pads, you can actually tremendously improve the aesthetic appearance of the face and the mid-face. So rather than focusing on the line, the nasal labial fold, it's important to focus on the uh, reflating the middle of the face. She also has some marionette lines here which again by just reflating this will help this but I think that needs to be um, uh, corrected uh, in itself. If she turns her head slightly you notice that she's got a pre jowl sulcus there which is the angle here and again this the whole, um, the, the whole uh, process of getting older, the skin to, uh, elasticity disappears the fat folds get thinner, there's bony loss underneath where the jaw is, and therefore we see this, the, the uh, uh, pre-sulcus, pre jowl sulcus in this here. And they're very, it's quite a straightforward uh, um, correction there, which we use uh, fillers deep in, right next to the periosteum, just overlying it and, uh, and fill this area to try and correct this line here and give it a nice straight uh, edge here. You can co complement this with uh, and neuromodulators by relaxing some of the muscles in, the, in this area, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. In addition, she's also requested that we do some work on her lips. She has great lips. We did fill this up how many months ago? Several. So, several months ago, and they're fading. She just wants a little top up here just to keep her a nice volumized lip here. Uh, she also wants a slight correction of her lower lip. The lower lip is sort of thinning out a little bit. And finally, it, the, the temporal area here, the sulcus here, really does become quite noticeable as you get older with the bony loss, the loss of the fat pad there. And just by re-volumizing this, she can have a very nice effect with a good sort of rounded appearance, which is what we're trying to achieve, a youthful, softer look. So that's what we're going we're gonna to focus on. She's already had her anesthetic. I've given her, in fact, a full uh, block here, uh, um, infraorbital block to cover the up mid face here, uh, a, a mentalis block just to help with the lower side. She's had some topical anesthetic, um, a small amount of it to anesthetize the face and we use ice. The, the fillers we use also have lidocaine built into them and that's an anesthetic in itself. So perhaps we're using a little too much, a little bit, quite a lot of anesthetic here. Uh, but the volumes are very small and quite safe in the ranges we're using. But we, uh, we're giving a good anesthetic so she doesn't feel any discomfort and it really helps the whole process of, of, of the fillers. So, 